This is right to the brink of too much. I'm tested and found wanting. I just whipped over three. Whip, whip, whip. I think they probably smell some corn body odor. You jerk! <laughs> That was nice. That is Georgie's first ever field use retreat. <laughs> well, here we are. I'm about ready to take off to the southern part of the state. I'm meeting Golden Boy at a Walmart. He and I got an invite to come down and go on a goose hunt with a guy named Chad Dawson who I met at the Delta Waterfowl Banquet a few years ago when I was running some social media stuff for them. And a great guy, he gave us an invite. So we're heading down there hunting Saturday and Sunday. And I'll tell you what, I'm excited. I need five geese is all I need to take the lead over Titus at the Freelance Hunt Stats point leaderboard. If you want to see what that's all about, it's FreelanceHuntStats.com. So yeah, I'm excited about this trip. Got a little George with me. And uh, we'll, I don't know, we'll see what happens. My last hunt will be a snow goose hunt that'll come at the end of February, beginning of March. I've been meaning to tell you guys, I keep forgetting, if you've got a Roku and you consume a lot of your TV off Roku, you can now find freelance dunk hunting on Roku. All you have to do is search duck hunting TV or just duck hunting. It is the only free waterfowl hunting channel on Roku. It's going really well, picking up a lot of viewers over there. So go check that out. All right, that's that. Are you ready to go, G? You ready to go, G? Next stop, picking up Golden Boy. Well, we're at the pickup. The man's ready. Howdy. Parking at a Walmart. We got about another hour and a half. Yeah, I've got a road trip this weekend. Yep, gonna kill him. I hope so. G's ready? All right, let's get your crap and go. Well, here we are. Chad's not here yet, letting us sleep in this little cabin here. I don't know if he's staying here with us tonight or not. We should just plow through that bag of Doritos before he gets here. <laughs> well, I was like, if he's a good host, there's probably ice cream in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> we got bunks. Uh, yeah, man, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a good time. Excited to be here. I just need my five geese to knock Titus out of the... I think Titus is in the sixth slot. And I'm in the seventh, I think. Either that or he's... I can't remember whether he's five and I'm six or he's six and I'm seven. But Either way, you need five to knock him out. Five to take Titus down. I'm going down, Titus. <laughs> going down. And stupid Golden's in the third... What, the third or fourth? Third. I'm gonna do everything I can to keep it. I three. think the two guys ahead of Golden are actually group reporting. So I know really the first like, slot's group reporting. I know for a fact because I talked to them. <laughs> so really, I'm number one. So <laughs> if number two is group reporting, which we're gonna fix that on the site to where you pick how many guys are in your party, so when you're on leaderboards, you're not like yeah. competing against a group. Uh, this is Chad who invited us down here. What's it looking like tomorrow? Uh, we got somewhere around 1,000, 1,500 uh, geese. We're hunting a bean field. Uh, it's supposed to be cold weather, good feed. Hoping for the best. All right, and then tomorrow night we got the Delta Banquet. That'll be fun. Uh, Aiden's never been to one. I have not been to one, so. Did you bring your pocketbook? What's that? Did you bring your pocketbook? His pocketbook sure is empty. <laughs> you didn't get the uh, pandemic paycheck? No, I did not get any of those. Dang. I, I put it yeah. online straight in the bank because they're going to ask for it back April 15th. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the checks that Jay just wrote and sent out, are they taxing those? Far than now. Oh, man, that is ridiculous. <laughs> It's People like, aren't them in there. why don't you just, just take it? <laughs> yeah. You're cool, we're talking politics. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you just take it out and give me the leftover? That's because, ridiculous. Because uh, uh, they tax us and they, they're like, yeah, you owe us money. How much do I owe you? That's for you to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you script the if amount, you up, yeah. <laughs> we're going to take, we're going to, we're going to take it. It's like, actually, you owe us this much. Well, why'd you have me do it to begin with? Yeah. Jerks. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, five o'clock in the morning. It's looking good. 
You excited? Yeah, we're excited. Thanks for having us here. Absolutely. Good right. to have you. We'll see. We'll see more of him tomorrow. Well, it's morning time. We are at the field. Golden Boy and Chad. Time to look for goose turds. the work begin. I guess we're going about 40 or 50 dozen decoys. Here we go. Got another trailer coming. Time to get it set up. Well, there's going to be a lot of decoys. There's going to be a lot of decoys. Here! 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 Come on. Here. Good girl. Good dog. Here. Good dog. Hand. Good dog. Good girl. Good dog. All right, Dustin's gonna show you guys how you, the finisher works on these geese. It is an amazing tool to dispatch them. Done. How much easier does it make it to kill geese? <laughs> It is a tool. If you guys don't have a finisher, if you don't have a finisher, you need to go to the link in the description and get one, man. These finishers are awesome. That was nice. That is Georgie's first ever field goose retreat. So, I'm happy with it. I wish he would drop the goose multiple times on the back. But. So, that was nice. Right on the board. We got two geese right on the board. So, this is fun. A lot of decoys. A lot of decoys. What do you think? It's a waiting game now, right? <laughs> it's not that bad. We're seeing a lot of birds. Last night they were using this field, and today they're going and dropping a field over there. So the weather certainly changed. 
recently. It's been warm and now it's going cold, so maybe some of the habits are shifting a little bit. But there's a lot of birds in the area, so I think we're still going to be okay and get a few in. Well, here's our spread now that's a little bit lighter out. Birds are coming in, just kind of skirting us a little bit, so we're making a decoy change. And I don't know. Let's see how this ends up. At this point in the season, honestly, I don't care how many we shoot. I'm just glad to get in another hunt and be out here doing this and down here. So, I mean, I'm. It really doesn't matter. Today. This is kind of a hangout day, is the way I'm seeing it. So, if we shoot a bunch, that's great. If we don't shoot anymore excited about the banquet tonight so this is just kind of a bonus really for for me I normally don't do a lot in the late goose season so this is just kind of a experience and getting to talk to these guys and I'm glad to be here she's got some battles battle wounds or battle blood Well, we got three now. We had a low one come up. Right in, clear over on the left by Dustin, and he splatted it. Georgie's not very happy about not getting a retrieve, are you, Georgie? But that wasn't your turn. Hey, it was not your turn. Don't be a baby about it. It was not your turn. You'll get the next one, okay? You'll get the next one. Well, that was nice. Here! That was sweet. Here! Girl, here, here. All right, I'll finish this other one. It is so easy. If you don't have one, you gotta pick it up. That was a great pass. That was awesome. How many did we end up with out of that one? Five. Five? I pulled the trigger once and I'm pretty sure I killed that one. They were just, you guys had it perfect right there. That was sweet. Down in the decoys. Yeah, good job. All right. That was awesome. That's what we were waiting for all morning. Yeah, yeah that was great. Yeah. I think we're gonna call this a day. We ended up with eight. I ended up with one myself. Um, so, I don't know, Georgie's first field goose hunt went well. I'm happy with her. You know, fun day. Um, now, I didn't realize this, uh, so Chad is the owner of Sky Panda um, Guide Service, and this, I didn't even realize that this is not like any kind of promotional hunt where I'm coming down to promote him or anything. He didn't even mention that he was the owner of a guide service, so his season's over, but I did want to give that name a shout out, so, um, but just appreciate him having us come down here and just hang out with him and, and Dustin so we had a lot of fun you know the geese just didn't quite do every time what we wanted them to do but we ended with eight and that was fun so one more thing I want to mention guys if you don't have the on X hunt app you know for finding field access like this or public land there's so many uses for the on X hunt app 
with the satellite images and the marking of fields and the finding owners. I'll put a link to that down in the description as well. Make sure you check that out.